Welcome back Drifters. So today we're back working on this old puppy. Uh, problem is my shims that were coming in for the water pump somehow they got damaged in transit. I have no idea. So we don't have any shims. One of our subscribers, uh, I'll put his uh, Instagram down below. Uh, Rick if you're seeing this, thank you. So uh, he gave us a tip basically about using washers and this might not be the most legit way to do it but I think I found a modified way to do it and still be legit. So what I found was the power steering pump pulley here was not lining up properly with the crank pulley which meant I would have to shim out this pulley. So what we're going to do is I'm going to adjust these by using washers to push it in and line it up better and then we may not even need to shim the water pump pulley. So, or if we do it'll be a lot less. So, so trial and error. Trial and error. So what we did is took a belt and basically put it on the rung down here to figure out where it should be, right? And I know this is not exactly 100%. We put this up, you can see it's about a belt's width of distance. So then, I just took this, took one of the shims that it was uh, put on for spacing, and basically used the belt as a measurement so I could figure out how many washers I needed. So then I just put my washers together, stacked them up till I got the height I wanted. They'll all be the same height, so I just use that number of washers, and then it should push it and line it up a little bit better. So I'm gonna go and put these on real quick and then we'll get right back with you. All right, so these bolts, since we're shortening it, they're too long to go into the thing. You can see this one's already been shortened at one point. So we're gonna shorten it up just a little bit more so that way when we go to tighten it, it'll actually get tight, hopefully. I don't wanna take out too many more threads because there's not much on there already, but these are grade eight bolts, so we should be fine. All right, so now we ground them all down. They're about the right size, we hope. Um, we'll see. We're gonna put the washers on and get this thing on there, so we'll do that really fast. Got them all on there, and now it looks like it's a little bit better, so we'll see. If so this thing lines up. We took that much out of it, so it's that much closer now. So it should be a little bit better. Okay, guys, so I'm back out here. It's another day. And we're back at it. It looks like I finally got these things lined up. So I went to the store, picked up some belts, and now we're gonna pop them on. Don't forget uh, when you're putting your pulley stuff on to put Loctite on the threads because these things are easy to pop off. So, yeah. So guys, we got a problem. And I don't know if you can see just how far off this is. It's like angled slightly like this. Um, yeah, it's just not quite lining up right. You can see that it's not quite there. But yeah, so I'm gonna have to fix that. So guys, I just got back from Home Depot. I went and I got some more bolts. They're a little bit longer this time. Um, but they didn't sell them in exactly the right size. So like I got these ones and they're like slightly longer. So I'm gonna have to just um, grind them back down. I know what it is, but like every time I work on a car, it's always something like, and it's always something tiny that causes the biggest problem. I don't know, I don't know what it is, but it's okay. We're gonna get this thing fixed, and I really, really wanna get this thing running because I just, I need to drive it. I need some stress relief in my life, and this car is just, I mean, look at it. It's just sad. It's been sitting out in the rain, getting soaked. It needs some love. So let's give it some love. So hopefully we'll do this and not have too many problems. I just wanna get this thing on here and hopefully not screw up the threads entirely like I normally do. Let's see what happens. Whew. I only need to take a quarter. Oh, fuck. God damn it. These Jobies, I swear. Such crap. Anyway. What I was saying was I only need to take about a quarter of an inch out, but geez. Hopefully that camera's okay. I don't know. Constantly breaking shit. I don't know why I always do this, but I always forget my headphones. 
Like, I'm always forgetting to put on hearing, hearing protection, and I already can't hear for shit. But for whatever reason, I just get into getting shit done, and I forget. Like, oh yeah, I need freaking uh, hearing protection. Found them. Hopefully now I won't go deaf. Okay, good enough. Good enough. Anymore, it's just gonna be dumb. Okay guys, so I keep running into issues. Um, so basically, I got these little pieces, right? These spacers, so I tried putting those back on. Again, it's way out of whack. So what I'm figuring is, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna grind these slightly down in the front, so that way it'll angle it the way that we want it to, and then, I don't know, we're just gonna spitball and see if this works. This thing's a pain in the ass. So let me get to it. That's like very slight, but it might be just enough. Okay guys, so after a lot of work, I think I finally got this Frankenstein thing together. So as you can see, I used like washers, spacer, more washers, because I ran out of washers. I got it to fit on there. It looks straight from what I can see. Don't mind the planes. From what I can tell, this belt looks really good. It's hard to tell, but I think that that's pretty straight. It looks straight, and this thing's completely flush, so I think I might be good. So you can see, even here, the belt appears to be straight. Um, now, mind you, this isn't bolted on yet, so there's still some flex in there. But this is like really, really close to straight. I think this is about as good as I'm gonna get it. Hopefully this will last and we won't be having a problem throwing belts, but we'll see. Okay guys, after many hours and lots of failed parts, I think I finally have this thing together. So I got a belt that fits the alternator. I got this that's on here. I retightened up all this. It's got all the wiring semi done, good enough to run it. Um, and then we're gonna bleed the coolant. So let's do that. I gotta get the car started, make sure nothing dies and then go from there. cold enough I can take this off so I got the plug in there so I can pop this sucker off Woo! 
pop this sucker on. Pop this sucker on. Bam. Colton. Okay, so don't do this when the engine's hot. I've let it cool off enough that I can do this. All right, guys, let's go take this thing for a quick little spin. All right, guys, first run. I'm trying to get moving before it gets too dark so you guys can actually see what the hell's going on. That's weird, I wonder if it's because I'm on a hill. Well, that's weird, guys. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, it's my clutch, dude. I'm in neutral and it's stuck. Clutch is stuck, guys. Have you ever had that? My clutch is sticking. I love this thing. I don't know what's up guys, but uh, I was reading zero for oil pressure. I gotta see if I can start this bitch. All right, good enough. All right guys, I hope that was worth it. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I'm so glad to have this thing running again, like Man, this was a long time coming, but it's finally running. We got a few little things. I gotta figure out what that squeak is, and I gotta figure out why my clutch is sticking. I'm not sure, but it's okay because it means it gives us something to do. So I'm looking forward to working on this some more, getting it ready. We got another like two and a half weeks left until the first drift event, so look forward to that. So guys, thank you for watching, and if you guys enjoyed this, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. If not, smash that like, and if not, well, I guess I'll see you when I see you. Have a good one.